Are you okay with Gruden's start to the season? As a coach, yeah. As a guy who's running the franchise, I wouldn't have traded Khalil Mack for what he got. But as a coach, yes, because they are – the reason you trade Khalil Mack, by far their best player, and that includes Derek Carr. He's an all-time great Hall of Famer, I believe, in his prime right now. The reason you do that is because you look at your roster when you get there and you go, we're not close. This is not going to help us put over – we have too many holes, so we need to build for the future. So the question is, if you're not that talented compared to, the, to other teams, um, what do you do against them? Do you have an effort? This is something I brought up with Todd Bowles last year, the Jets coach, where even though the Jets didn't have a good record, when I saw the Jets play, I said, you know what? They got a coach. He has his guys playing hard every game, competing every game. And what I've seen from the Raiders, yes, they were dispirited by the second part of the first game against the Rams because the Rams, I believe, are going to win the Super Bowl this year. I think they're the most talented team in football. But, boy, he had them close in the first half. And against the Broncos, who are not the Rams but still not a bad team, that game went down to the wire. So Gruden has them playing hard, playing over their heads. That bodes well for the future when he gets more talent. So, no, so far as a coach, Stephen A., I'm okay with Gruden. Well, the reason why I'm not okay with it, Max Kellerman, is because you're trying to parse. You're trying to pick apart the coach to the executive. When you get paid $100 million, you don't get to do that. The fact of the matter is Gruden is there. He's trying to do things his way. And what's the number one problem with the Raiders right now? They've got no pass rush. They can't get to the quarterback. Mm. Okay. And who? If only and, uh, they had. I mean, I mean if, if only, only they Khalil had Mack somebody, was available. maybe Khalil yep. Mack. You understand? Maybe this would one. not be a problem. So here's what you did. So you have an opportunity where you walk in there. You're making all of this noise about Derek Carr. He completed 21 of his first 22 passes, 29 to 32 for the game. But if you take away the 130 yard completion that he had, he completed 28 passes for 258 yards. If that ain't dipping and dunking, I don't know what is, okay? So I'm not overly enamored with that. He just didn't look as god awful as he looked in week one. But I like Derek Carr, and I believe in him. We'll see what happens. You did whiff two tackles in the last 20 seconds, which set up the winning field goal. So we can't ignore that either. We have to pay attention to that reality. You had missed tackles. You had the absence of a pass rush, which means on the defensive side of the ball, which overall played pretty impressively against Denver yesterday. When you're talking about missed tackles and can't get into the quarterback, I'm sorry, Khalil Mack would solve a lot of that, okay? And your election to get rid of him Look, makes me look at you and say, what are you thinking about? What on earth are you no, thinking about? Odd, and, and, and he will be attached to Khalil Mack being gone for a long time unless oh, yeah. the Raiders' defense no, gets better. No, it's odd about trading Khalil Mack. Even if you look at your team and you think there are lots of holes, it's not like Khalil Mack's 32 years old. You have a quarterback in his prime who you obviously believe in, who you think is your franchise quarterback, and who is talented, David Carr. You have your coach. So you got your coach, your quarterback, you also have your great pass rusher, all-around great defensive player on the line guy. Like, how much more do you, you have? Those are the critical pieces. Why would you get rid of the pass rusher? Because you just you fill think, in the other holes. No, 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 no. Don't ask the question and keep going. Let's pause. You do it because you think it's about you as opposed to the players. That's why you think, that's why you did that. Because possible. you're John Gruden. We'll figure it out. That's why you did it. Guess what Let's we get see. to see tonight? Khalil see. Mack taking on Russell Wilson and the Seahawks Monday Night Football. That's going to be a good one. We'll react. Gonna, to all I that. think Gruden's going to end up doing a good job, though. But so far, no, this is on Unless him. Unless he thought his team this was going to be terrible and he said, "I'm working mm -hmm. on the future." Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's why he got rid of him. That's the only way I could justify it.